Member for Western Arctic. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased to rise to speak to Bill C-321, uh, a bill that uh, my colleague from Brandon Sewers has uh, put forward on on a number of occasions in this House of Commons, and uh, I'm glad to see that it's moving towards completion for him, as he's been a, a, a very uh, excellent uh, uh, proponent for this particular service, and also a, a very good uh, man on the uh, chair of the Transportation Committee, which I served for for three years. So I, I'm pleased to do this for him. Since 1939, Canada Post has set a reduced postal rate for library materials. However, this is under a corporate policy. It's not under legislation. Over 2,000 libraries regularly use the library book rate. The library book rate is not a government program, and it's not currently financed by, by the Conservative government. So I think that my, my colleague will probably find success on, on his side of the House uh, in, this, in supporting this bill, because it certainly isn't going to cost this penurious government to any, uh, any money. The ability of Canada Library to transfer, transfer materials across the country at a low rate allows Canadians in rural remote locations to have access to the same materials as those that live in large urban centres. And for me, Mr. Speaker, growing up in the Northwest Territories, when libraries were the dominant form of knowledge and information, this service was absolutely required. Through this program, the Ula Hukatok Community Library on Victoria Island in the High Arctic has the same access to library materials as the Toronto Public Library through the National Libraries. The rate contributes to the public policy's goals of literacy, lifelong learning, and vibrant and re remote communities. And this, Mr. Speaker, is something that, of course, the, the, uh, the new uh, information age has, has assisted greatly in communities across uh, northern Canada, improvements to other forms of delivery for those, uh, those uh, information services are still required and those still should be pushed forward. Access to knowledge is an essential part of democracy. However, in this latest Conservative budget, we see that they're opposed to knowledge. They're opposed to the dissemination of knowledge. They're opposed to the collection of knowledge on the part of the public. And we see this over and over again in the budget implementation bill. And I want to speak specifically to libraries, because conservatives are also gutting the, the National Library Service, the very repository of knowledge and information, the very people that also not only collect the knowledge, but create ways to disseminate the knowledge across the country to those thousands of libraries that exist in Canada. Libraries and Archives Canada is subject to 9.6 million in cuts over the next three years. Being cut is 20% of the staff. Same. This is a shameful situation in, in a country where the, the use of knowledge is so important to the development of our economy and to, to the development of our citizens in a good and equitable fashion across the whole country. Interlibrary loan program is being cut. So the very program that this bill is going to help support across the country, the very program is being cut by, by the Conservative government and the National Libraries through the cuts to the National Libraries. So, so here we have a, have a bill, it's a good, good intention bill, which really is uh, superseded by, by these massive cuts that are taking place at our National Libraries. And also, within that, the National Archival Development Program is being cut. So across the country, the development of archives which can hold the information, hold the history of this country, hold the, and this that country's history is rich right across the whole country. We, we need this kind of archi archival development program in my territory, especially because the history is much oral. It is much uh, not uh, available easily. It needs to have ways that we can preserve this over time. So what we're seeing is this program is being cut as well. We have heard that libraries can be closed at many government departments. Agriculture Canada, Environment Canada, Citizen, Citizenship and Immigration Canada, Industry Canada, the National Capital Commission, National Defense, Public Works, the Public Service Commission and Transport Canada. Libraries gone. Information gone. 
availability of information, of the people that understand the information that can provide it to others, gone. Human Resources and Skills Development Canada has already announced the closure of its library, gone. That information, those people that can pro provide that information to others right across that country, gone. Canadians have, expect to have an access to a well, vast wealth of materials managed by Library and Archives Canada. What is going on with this picture? Libra Canadian Library Association per President Karen Adams said, Our National Library and Archives has a broad mandate to acquire, preserve and make available the documentary heritage of Canada. They're also re responsible for the management of archival records of government. Even before the latest round of cuts, Libraries and Archives Canada was challenged to fulfill its mandate. So what do we have, Mr. Speaker? A situation where knowledge is being lost to Canadians, oh, yeah. where the ability to deal with knowledge is being lost by Canadians, where the ability to understand what our country is all about by Canadians through their public government is disappearing. Knowledge will be paid for. Knowledge will be hard to collect. Knowledge will be part of a system that is so different to Canadians than what we've expected over the years. Mr. Speaker, this is a difficult situation, and it's a situation that I hope my colleague, who's put this bill forward, will understand and will plead with his, his government to do something different than what they're doing today with information services in this country. This is... Uh, utterly vital to our, the, the future of our country to have information that is well documented, that is well understood, that is presented to people in fashion that can... Librarians have those responsibilities. What we see here is a denigration of our library system right across this country. What is going on in this, in this country today? What is the purpose of denying Canadians access to knowledge? Can this government ask those fundamental questions? Did it ask those fundamental questions? Or did an idealistic uh, orgy of cutting just simply cut out this particular piece of, of our Canadian uh, uh, heritage, our Canadian future? What, Mr. Speaker, is going on? It's going backwards. We are going backwards. We are going backwards. I support what my colleague across the House is doing with his private member's bill. But I do not support what this government is doing for information services in this country. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello.